let's answer some questions. So guys, thanks to you, I have 700 followers on Twitter and 50 subscribers on my Lean Buskis channel. So, in celebration for that, um, I am, I asked for questions on Twitter, and I'm going to answer them for you. This video will be in three parts, um, because I got a lot of questions, and that is awesome. So, it will be in three parts, spread out, so that you don't get too bored and tired of me talking. Well, let's answer some questions. Amy Bauer Buskis asks, Do you believe in love at first sight? My answer would be, unfortunately, no. I believe that you have to really get to know somebody before you actually truly fall in love with them. Um, I do believe in love, lust at first sight, um, where you can just look at someone and you're just like, Lust, if you know what I mean. Life as No Seven asks, What kind of music and art do you like? Music and art. Music. I am very diverse in music. Um, I listen to stuff like Christian rock, Christian contemporary, I guess that's what it's called, um, pop, like Jones Brothers stuff, no Justin Bieber. Um, also, I listen to um, dance music, you know, like LMFAO stuff. Also, because I'm such a big nerd, I love Nintendo music. I think Nintendo music is probably the best style of music I have ever heard. Um, it's, it's so good. Uh, I listen to Zelda music, um, when, like all the time and art art I don't know I like fan art I think fan art is cool I like Rihanna Rocks um, I like her art I like her drawing of me I love it just another fan had uh, asked me a couple of questions so the first one is um, do you watch any anime and that would be a no the next one is, uh, what are some of your goals for 2012? I want to get a boyfriend. No joke. I want to, that's one of my goals, is to get a boyfriend and to, um, pretty much develop a relationship, strong relationship with someone that I will be engaged, um, by either the end of this year or the beginning of next year. Um, that is one of my serious goals. Another is I, well, I want to get through school. I also want to get a job. I need to get my car. I'm doing that this February. And 2012, man. It's going to be big. Hopefully. And then the third one is, be honest, what pisses you off the most on Twitter that people do? That is a very good question. I would say, um, I don't like it when people retweet a lot of things, especially from the same thing. That just gets annoying. I hate it when people complain 24-7. Now I get when you're having a bad day or you're in a rage, because I do that. But when it's constantly, like it never stops every time I go on and I see, like, ugh, it's, it gets annoying. You know what annoys me? Freaking spam. I get, like, a bunch of crap from, uh, like, DMs. Uh, from people saying, "Oh, this person's saying terrible things about you." Let's see, or, "Oh, you need to lose some weight." <laughs> like, gee, thanks. No, I don't. I hate that stuff, and I know it's not your fault, but it happens. Then floors seven fourteen asks, "If you were stranded on an island, what three things would you want?" Okay, first thing would be a cell phone. Second thing would be a cell phone tower. And third thing would be, um, third thing would be Toby Turner. 
Jessica Smosh fan asks, what does Smosh mean to you? Smosh means almost everything to me, and I say almost because, I mean, they're just a big part of my life, and I'm looking at their poster right now. Um, they make me laugh whenever I feel like it, even when I don't feel like it, they still do. They um, are funny. Of course, they're a freaking hot and cute and they brought me amazing friends and and fans and and just we made such a good bond like a smoshy family like a family we have each other's backs I love you you love me kind of thing you know and that's something that I have to thank them for she also asks um what has been the most scary situation you've ever had basically the most scary situation um I've, well, I've seen scary movies, which freak me out, like Insidious. I remember I saw Insidious in the theaters with my friend Jace, and we were basically just hidden, just legit like that. It was horrible, but it was so much fun. So that's, like, the most scary, I've, you know, scared I've been um, in, a, in, like, a scary situation like that. Scary situation and any others. Um, I had a kidney stone, which freaked the hell out of me. Uh, they didn't know what it was at first. They thought um, it was my appendix, which I was so, so afraid that you know something had happened and I would have to get surgery. That scared me. Getting my wisdom tooth out and my wisdom teeth out scared the crap out of me. I cried because it was like my first surgery that I've ever done. When my mom's in the hospital sometimes, that always scares me. When my dad is having problems with his heart, that always scares me. So, yeah, scary things. That is it for part one. I will catch you guys in part two. Catch you on the flip side. <laughs>